Hello, my dear students. I welcome you all to the next subtopic of oscillation chapter. And in this subtopic, we are going to learn about the expression for displacement. So, expression for displacement, uh, the question it will be like this: Do you have an expression for displacement of particle performing linear SHM? I can say that uh, we concluded the expression for acceleration. It was equal to minus omega square x. So for deriving this A, we took help of the second order differential equation of particle performing linear SHM that d square x divided by dt square plus omega square x it is equal to 1. It is equal to 0, sorry. Then in order to get the velocity that is uh, plus or minus omega under root of a square minus x square, we took help of the acceleration expression. And now we are going to derive an expression for displacement. So displacement, we will take help of this uh, velocity. So I can say answer. We know that. We know that. The velocity of particle performing. Velocity of particle performing linear SHM is given by linear SHM is given by it is given by V it is equal to V it is equal to plus or minus omega under root of A square minus X square. Now this V you can say it is the rate of change of velocity with respect to time. So I can say here v it is equal to what v it is equal to dx divided by dt here v it is equal to dx divided by dt so therefore what is dx divided by dt dx divided by dt it is equal to plus or minus omega under root of e square minus x square e square minus x square so therefore what is the meaning of this um, you can say 1 divided by under root of e square minus x square with respect to x, it is equal to plus or minus omega into dt. Plus or minus omega into dt. So here we are having dx, here we are having dt. So I can say on integrating both sides, we get on integrating both sides, we get. So we have to do the integration part now. That means integration of 1 divided by under root of a square minus x square with respect to x is equal to integration of plus or minus omega under root uh, 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 or plus or minus omega dt. So what is the formula of this? So there is a formula of integration for solving this and that is equal to sine inverse of x upon a. So integration of this it is equal to sine inverse of x upon a. Plus we have to add some constant of integration just like c. Uh, in the formula of velocity, we added c, so I can say it is added with suppose phi, where phi is the constant of integration. So here it is uh, plus or minus, it will be come out, it will come out, it will be integration of 1 with respect to t plus phi. 1 with respect to t, the integration, the answer is t, so I can say this is sine inverse of x upon a, it is plus or minus omega t plus phi. So for simplicity, I will consider the magnitude, I will not consider plus or minus. So plus or minus, I suppose I am neglecting this plus or minus sign. Suppose I am neglecting this plus or minus sign. So sign inverse will go there, it will become sign. So therefore I can say x divided by a, it is equal to sine of omega d plus pi. So that means what is the value of x then? Therefore the value of x, it is equal to a sine of omega t plus phi, it will be a sine of omega t plus phi. So this is the required expression. This is an expression for resultant displacement of particle performing linear system for particle performing Linear SHM. So for particle performing linear SHM, this is an expression for displacement. Okay. 
So all of you are requested to pause the video. You have to write all the sums. Now, we all know the maximum and minimum values of the displacement. At mean position, at mean position, what is the value of x? x is equal to 0 because displacement is always measured with respect to mean position. So this is the this is the value at mean position. Suppose at initial time. At initial time, small t it is equal to zero. So what is the value of x now? What the value of x we got x is equal to a sine of omega t plus five. So what we have to substitute x is equal to zero. So I get the zero is equal to a sine of omega t. T value is zero plus five. Okay, so a will go here, it will become 0, so I can say 0 is equal to sine of 5. So that means 5 is equal to 5 is equal to sine inverse of 0. Sine inverse of 0 means sine of which angle is 0? So sine of 0 it is 0, or I can say 5 radians it is 0. So alpha it is equal to 0, that means what? If I can say alpha it is equal to 0, if alpha it is equal to 0, that means Particle is at mean position. Particle is at mean position and moving towards positive extreme position. Positive extreme position. And if suppose phi is equal to phi radians, this indicates that particle particle is at mean position, but it is moving to towards the negative extreme position and moving towards negative extreme position okay so this is the first case the first case at mean position the x is equal to 0 now at uh, I can say extreme position so here it is at extreme position So at extreme position, x set is equal to plus or minus a. x set is equal to plus or minus a. Also, suppose at initial time, at initial time, suppose t is equal to zero. So what we have the formula of x. I have x set is equal to a sine of omega t plus five a sine of omega t plus 1. So therefore what is the value of x then? x is equal to plus or minus a it is equal to a sine of omega t plus 5. So a and this a will get cancelled so it will become plus or minus 1. Plus or minus 1 it is equal to sine of omega t plus 5. So therefore this sine will go here it will become sine inverse. Sine inverse of plus or minus 1. Now t value is also 0 so I can say it is equal to uh, first I will write omega t plus 5. So t value is also 0 so I can say therefore 5 is equal to 5 is equal to sine inverse of plus or minus 1. So here I am getting uh, since t it is equal to 0. So I will substitute t it is equal to 0. Sine inverse of 1 means sine of which angle is 1. So sine of 90 is 1 so I can say pi by 2 uh, or 3 pi by 2 it is equal to minus 1. Okay, So these are the radians. So if theta is equal to, or if, if phi is equal to pi by 2, that means particle, particle is starting from, particle is starting from positive extreme position. Okay, you have to remember all these things. So if theta is equal to, if suppose theta not phi, if phi is equal to 3 pi by 2, that means the particle is starting from particle is starting from the starting from negative extreme position okay so these are the maximum and minimum values of displacement so this completes our subtopic the next topic that we are going to learn is the explanation of amplitude thank you so much all of you for paying attention keep learning keep smiling goodbye